More miracles have happened to me since writing the little booklet in 1997 that evolved into what you are now listening to. Here are a few of them. When I first wrote this book and described the car of my dreams, the car of my dreams at that time was a Saturn. I've now upgraded my dream and my car. I'm now driving a BMW Z3 2.8 Roadster. I've never in my life had so much fun driving. As I grew in my life and became bolder about going for my dreams, I also naturally wanted a different vehicle. I was led to the Z3, which symbolizes the major changes in my life. And it is a hoot to drive as well. You truly can have anything you can imagine. When I first wrote this book, I was still married to Marion, whom I had been with for more than 20 years. Since then, we decided we had grown apart. There was nothing negative about the experience or the decision at all. Marion decided she preferred being alone. I decided to look for another partner. I found one, too, in Nerissa, who I am deeply in love with. I'm still friends with Marion, and both are now in my heart. I'm a lucky man. Major changes in life can truly be easy and effortless. When I first wrote this book, I made a goal that I wanted passive income. I wanted money to come to me easily and effortlessly, always, consistently no matter where I was or what I was doing. I was then led to meet Mark Joyner, then CEO of Aesop Marketing, who asked if he could put one of my books online as an e-book. I was skeptical. But I gave him Hypnotic Writing, a manuscript I wrote many years ago. Mark put it online, marketed it, and the sales blew my socks off. Even now, years after the book went online at www.hypnoticwriting.com, orders keep coming in. Since there is no book to print, stock, or mail, all the money is passive income. Every month I receive a check, sometimes for staggering amounts. And since I now have over a dozen ebooks out there, including the bestseller, How to Create Your Own Ebook in Only Seven Days, at www.7dayebook.com, the checks are even bigger. Now I smile a lot. I know that when you set an intention, you set the forces of life to bring it to you and you to it. When I first wrote this book, I was living in Houston, Texas. After I met Nerissa, I moved to Austin. I then began the process of attracting our dream home. After a few months, we found a beautiful two-acre, two-story, hill country property with wandering wild deer and rabbit and an outside pool between Austin and San Antonio, located in a small spiritual artistic community called Wimberley, Texas. Finding this home was a matter of having a clear image of what I wanted while following every intuitive impulse I had. The result was a miracle. I could go on. For example, a man I studied some 20 years ago was Dr. Robert Anthony. His famous books and tapes changed my life. After I came out with an early version of this material, he read it and contacted me. Now the man who was once one of my gurus is now one of my business partners. I ended up producing, recording, and marketing his terrific audio program, Beyond Positive Thinking. I think it's the greatest self-improvement material of all time, and I'm involved with it. Attraction works. I just sat down with Nerissa and talked to her about the ongoing miracles in my life. It happens to you all the time, she said. She mentioned that just the other day I wanted to book us a flight to Ohio to see my family. Tickets were nearly $1,000. I simply expected to get a better deal while being willing to accept the going fare. When I called the airline back, they told me I had enough frequent flyer miles to get both tickets for just over $100. Way cool. And Nerissa reminded me of the time I wanted to complete my collection of rare books by P.T. Barnum, a man I had studied and written a book about. I found the last book I needed. 
but my intuition said not to pay the high price the bookseller was asking. So I let go. I waited. A few days later, the bookseller lowered his price. That's almost unheard of. And yes, I bought the book. And Nerissa reminded me of the time I looked for one book for nearly seven years and couldn't find it. I gave up. But I decided I would attract it, somehow, some way. Then, out of the blue, an email friend in Canada wrote me that he had the book. I begged to buy it. He declined. But a few days later, he suddenly decided to just send me the book, at no charge. And Nerissa remembered that a year or so ago, when I couldn't find a friend of mine that I loved and missed, I gave up and hired a private investigator. He couldn't find my friend either, so I quit looking but I made a decision to attract her back into my life. Then one day, simply following my intuition, I walked right up to my friend at a yoga class. I found her without breaking a sweat. Nerissa also reminded me to tell you what happened just yesterday while writing this very preface. I have been studying the Sedona method for months now. It's a very simple method for releasing any emotion or negative experience in the way of your being happy right now. I like the method and have told many people about it through my monthly e-newsletter. I was reading a book by Lester Levinson, the founder of the Sedona Method, just yesterday morning. I sat in my easy chair, reading, feeling happy, wondering how I might learn more about Sedona and Lester. I remember thinking, gee, it sure would be nice to meet some Sedona people and learn more about what they do. That same day, I checked my email, and to my delighted surprise, there was a message from the director of the Sedona Institute. He had heard about me through the grapevine and wanted to talk to me about how I could help promote their website at www.sedona.com. Wow! And then there are the countless times when I want more money for something or other, and I get a brainstorm that pulls in an abundance of money fast. One time when I needed to raise $20,000, I almost led a seminar on spiritual marketing to get it. Instead, I felt guided to see if anyone would sign up for it online and take it as an e-class. I announced that the class would only be done by email would last only five weeks and would cost $1,500 per person. Fifteen people signed up, bringing me a whopping sum of money in one day. Very nice. I have since taught my E-Class system to others. They have made upwards of a quarter of a million dollars per year with it. In most cases, I received almost half as payment for my consulting. You know I like that. You have miracles happen all the time, Nerissa repeated to me. Why do you think that is, I asked her. It certainly wasn't always that way. Because you now practice the attractor factor, she explained. You make yourself a magnet for whatever you want. Once you decide you want something, you get it, often almost instantly. Well, there's no question about it. If I tried to document all the miracles that keep occurring in just my life alone because of the attractor factor, I'd never stop writing this book and never get around to releasing it to the public. My point is this. The five-step formula you are about to discover works. And because it works, I want you to have it. I once told Nerissa that there is an easy path through life and a hard path. When I first met her, she was crawling up the rocky side of the mountain. I pointed out that there is an escalator through life, too. You can take the hard path or the easy path. It's all your choice. When I first met Nerissa, she was unhappy, battling a lawsuit against construction workers who messed up her roof, fighting with her mother almost every day, hating her job, and more. Within a few months of discovering the attractor factor, she ended the lawsuit, found common ground with her mother, quit her job, and now has two e-books out there and a growing internet business, 
She's now known as the Video Queen. She also lives with me in our country estate. She says she is happier now than at any other time in her life, ever. Again, there is a rocky road through life, and then there's an escalator. Which do you prefer? Have you ever had this happen to you? You set a goal and promised yourself you'd see it through this time. Then two weeks later, you let it slide again. Perhaps you visualize something, a new car, a better job, the house of your dreams. So powerfully, it felt real to you. And still, it never manifested in your life. Maybe you felt like some unseen force is sabotaging your success, leaving you with a few tastes of abundance while your biggest goals slip right through your fingers. Or you've even begun to lose hope of ever attracting miracles and wealth in your life, and you're beginning to think it might somehow be your own fault. Hi, I'm Joe Vitale here at my home in Wimberley, Texas. And whether you're struggling right now, or you're just want to reach up and get more of what life has to offer. If you answered yes to any of these questions, please know you are not alone. 